Jamie Moyle back here on the program. She's going to be taking on Brianna Van Buren at Invicta FC 33 on December 15th. Jamie, how are you today? I'm doing fabulous. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, good to talk to you again. I always love the positivity. Now, today is Tuesday. Uh, what, or Sorry, today is not Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. What did you get up to uh, today so far uh, now that I'm catching you? Um, I'm just at home hanging out. Just had a nice, healthy lunch. Um, I got up at 6 o'clock this morning, went to the gym at uh, 7 o'clock, and now I'm just chilling, waiting for my practice in another 30 minutes. So just, uh, just training, training all day. Because you have this fight on the 15th, were you able to enjoy Thanksgiving at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, my last couple fights, I happen to have like fight camps right after Thanksgiving. Um, and I usually, even if I do have like a really um, clean diet or whatever, I usually have like a plate of food. You know, I don't do the dessert and all that, but I'll have like a plate of food and enjoy myself and, you know, just do a little extra bike or something the next day. <laughs> okay, that, that makes sense. Um, let's talk quickly about your last fight. I know things didn't go your way in that one against Emily uh, Whitmire, um, but what did you learn from that performance that you can bring into this fight? Um, I learned a lot in that, actually, um, because I recently picked up boxing, and I haven't really done much boxing before. It's mostly Muay Thai, um, so that was my fight to kind of like – feel it out and show off my new boxing and, and how to use that in MMA. So I think in that fight, I really got to um, first and foremost, like show myself that I have improved in my boxing and my defense and my footwork and everything looked a lot better and sharper. And um, I can have a little bit more confidence in that area. Um, and then also just knowing that um, just mixing it up a little bit more, a little bit more output um, and just being aware of the takedown at all times. Um, and, uh, having a sense of urgency, <laughs> you know, like in the third round, I don't know if you remember the uh, fight, but uh, yeah, like I just, you know, I should have just been up right away. So um, just, just a lot of things, you know, just a lot of things, but um, every experience, every fight is a new experience and a, a growing learning experience. Were you, were you surprised to get released from the UFC just after three fights? Uh, a little bit. Um, I kind of thought I, I was, um, somebody that they liked but at the same time I, I completely understand their decision and I had lost two fights um I had a couple chances and I I already kind of came in um like sorry I'm getting like little calls and stuff on my screen all, all good um, you're popular I guess <laughs> um yeah what was I saying oh you, you were just talking about uh you know the UFC release and uh you know all that stuff yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I wasn't like, I honestly, in my heart thought that I was going to get one more shot, but, um, again, I'm not surprised. And when I got cut, a bunch of people had gotten cut at that same exact day, like time and everything. So, you know, they got to do what they got to do and they got to keep the fighters that are exciting right now and that are winning. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's just a new path. It was a blessing in disguise for me. How did this come together with you returning to Invicta and how quickly did that happen after you found out you were released from the UFC? <laughs> Um, it literally happened like I'm on the phone with Mick, who's the matchmaker of the UFC. He tells me the news. I hang up. I sit there and I think for about five minutes to myself. And then I like call Shannon right then. So okay, it was that quickly. Okay. Interesting. It, it, yeah, it was very, very quick. Um, and Shannon actually didn't answer, um, for anybody who's listening, Shannon is the president of Invicta. Um, and she, yeah, she called me back a couple hours later. So I had a couple hours to kind of like let everything sink in and maybe think it through a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I got on the phone with her and it, and it happened. Um, there was no other choice for me. Like Invicta's my, my second home, you know? So yeah, I was going to say you, you sort of carved out your career in Invicta before you got on the ultimate fighter. So it seemed, I mean, it seemed inevitable that you would go back there just because you had, you know, you're, you're sort of known as an Invicta fighter, uh, you know, even, even on the ultimate fighter. So kind of a no brainer, right? Yes, for sure. Okay. Um, there, there, so there was no consideration of going to fight anywhere else. I guess you just, you were comfortable in Invicta. It just made the most sense. Um, you know, like after maybe like weeks after I was kind of like, Hey, you know, one FC is really, really cool. Um, and there are other promotions, um, like Combates too is a really great promotion. Um, but I mean, for me, Invicta is more than just a promotion. It's kind of like, I've built relationships with the people that work there and I just really respect um, what they do as an organization and how they're so supportive of, w of women. And that's like something that, you know, is, is close to my heart. You know, I, I think women should support women and it's just a really cool, like just cool dynamic, you know, it's so different. It's all, it's all females. And you know, when you're in a gym, when you're training, it's all men, it's a male dominated sport. So it's just, it's just really, really cool. You know? Yeah. No, I agree with that. <laughs> 
Let's talk about your opponent here, Brianna Van Buren, 4-2 and two record. How do you feel like you match up against her? I think it's a great matchup. I think she was coming off of uh, some time off and came back and had one fight recently, and I'm kind of in the same boat. Um, I think it's going to be a great fight. I think she's scrappy, and I think that, um, you know, it's going to be cool to fight somebody who's my height for once. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, it'll be great. I think it'll be like wrestler versus a striker type of match. I know MMA math doesn't always work, but you guys do have a common opponent in uh, Amy Montenegro. Uh, she lost to her by unanimous decision. You beat her by split decision. D does that give you a little bit more confidence heading in or does that not even matter? I mean, that, that doesn't really matter. Every fight is a new fight. Um, but I mean, it is something to look at too, you know, how she performed against Amy and how I performed and how I felt in that fight and what I see that she's doing and things like that. You know, there's a little bit of, a, uh, I guess, details and um, my coach called it like MMA math um, that you can do from watching those things. But I mean, obviously, I, I, I'm not going into it thinking, well, I beat somebody that she beat, you know, so I'm automatically going to beat her. Like, I, I still have to do my job and be focused and, and uh, get the win. Uh, who have been some of your main training partners for this camp? Um, I've had a lot of different training partners. Um, there's so, so many people that train at Team Alpha Male. So, um, I'm pretty lucky I get to train with all different kinds of people. Um, so. Is there anyone more than others? Like I, I know it is super busy and it's sort of like you have that luxury of getting to, you know, train with a variety of partners, but is there anyone you train with a little bit more than others? Um, yeah, there's a couple guys. Um, nobody that's like high level pros that you would know or anything like that. Um, but yeah, there's a couple guys that are just like smaller guys at the gym that are good, scrappy, like, um, just going pro type of guys. Um, there's a guy, Josiah, um, from my gym who's really great and a guy DK and they're both just like really great partners. Um, I do work with Cynthia when our uh, schedules run into each other and, uh, she actually came. She's coming in, helping me drill on the side and things like that. So um, just just anybody, you know, anybody at that gym is is a great partner, honestly. Yeah, and you're feeling really comfortable there now. I know uh, you were there your last fight, but uh, you know now you're sort of in the full swing of things in that camp, sort of immersed into it. Yeah, definitely. I've been there over a year now, so um, I know how the gym works. I know who I like to work with. Um, I'm more settled in everything and I'm actually had more time to uh, let everything soak in a little bit more and, um, you know, let it show. So the more time you spend, the, the better you're going to get at it. Right. So, um, <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's good to hear. And I just hear nothing but great things at that gym. Uh, you know, I talked to Rick Glenn a little while ago. He's, uh, he's loving it down there. He also made the move as well. So that's, uh, that's good to hear. Um, we talked a little bit about it there, uh, but, but the weight cut, I imagine that's uh, going pretty well. If, uh, you know, you're kind of altering Thanksgiving to, you know, uh, prepare for this fight. Yeah. Weight cuts good. Everything's great. Um, I'm on track. I'm just going to keep training, keep eating healthy, keep making my way and plugging away and, uh, you know, stay on track. <laughs> Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? I am going to have Joey Rodriguez. Um, he is my boxing coach. He was in my corner for my last fight. And um, I might actually have my dad in my corner. Which oh, might nice. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, he's super supportive of my career and my fighting and everything. And uh, he's going to be there. be nice to have an extra hand in there. So, uh, yeah, I'll have my dad. It'll be a cool little, like, bonding experience. <laughs> I love that. That's great. Um, how do you see this fight playing out on the 15th? Um, I see us both going in there, ready to battle right off the bat. Um, getting in there, throwing some punches in her face. And... Uh, Seeing how she responds, I'm just going to keep her away with my hands as much as I can. And uh, if we get in a clinch, um, just making sure all my shots are hard and clean. And um, I'm always throwing. I'm always busy. And um, getting a, a TKO uh, as quickly as possible. I like that. Um, now, as far as, uh, you know, your Invicta contract, I imagine, uh, you know, you probably have a couple fights on there. Or is it just like a one fight deal? How does that work? Um, I believe I signed a four fight contract. Um, but those things are always, yeah, they're kind of yeah loose a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I do have a few fights. Um, but, um, Shannon and everybody like Shannon's so cool. She doesn't like mind if you go and fight for another promotion, even if you're under contract. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Cause that was going to be my next question. Like, when are you looking to fight after this? Assuming you come out healthy and you know, I'm sure you want to get some momentum going. 
Yeah, I definitely want to stay busy. Um, I'm going to talk to the people at Invicta about um, getting on the next card as soon as possible. Um, but I'm still open to other opportunities too. Like I said, like one FC or combates would, if you know, if those lined up or whichever fight lines up and is the best deal and the best uh, opportunity for me, then uh, that's where I'm going to go. And you weren't the only fighter this past year. I mean, there's been a few that have uh, gone from the UFC back to Invicta. One of them is uh, Viviana Pereira, who I know I'm sure you, you'd you want a rematch against at some point because uh, you lost her in the UFC. She's on the roster. Is that someone you're keeping your eye on? Uh, Yeah, I mean, I haven't really thought about it like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, no, I just figured past opponents, so maybe there was, uh, you know, maybe you'd want that one back. But I guess, you know, the, the nice thing about Invicta, I guess, is there's so many options. It's not like you're limited. Yeah, no, you're right, though. That would be a great opportunity because she's, uh, she, she just lost her last fight, though, right? So, I mean, I thought... Well, yeah, she- I, guess, I guess it has to go with wins and losses, but yeah, in general, I'm sure, maybe, maybe down the line, you know, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I put together some wins. I mean, I'm going to take the fight that makes the most sense in the moment, you know? But I, I would definitely love to get my, uh, my, uh, I guess, a win after her and I fought, you know, I think I'm a different fighter than what I was in that fight. So I would definitely take that fight. What's uh, downtime looking like these days? You watching any TV or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I watch TV I Netflix. I hang out. Um, if I went onto your Netflix, like if I hacked into your account and I looked under continue watching, <laughs> what is it going to say? What do you think it would say? Oh, I, I'm guessing, uh, you know, probably some stuff that my wife would watch, you know, so um, yeah, maybe a little sex in the city. Your wife probably watches that. Um, but honestly, I watch like a ton of adult cartoons, like, oh, nice. Like, okay. Lot. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much you're gonna see like, Rick and Morty, Bob's Burgers, Park, Bob's Burgers, Family Guy, like just down the line, a bunch of cartoons, you know? Okay, I- that's awesome. Definitely can dig that taste. See, you were expecting me to like kind of frown upon your selection. But you know, as soon as you said adult cartoons, we, we got on the right page here. So that was good. <laughs> I thought you were going to say like My Little Pony or something. No, no, no. Come on. I'll give you more credit than that. Come on. It's it's all good. Uh, Well, anyways, this is going to be an awesome card. It's coming up here December 15th in Victa FC 33. Uh, Jamie, always good catching up with you. Just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you have any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours. All right. You can find me on Instagram at loveboatjamie. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Fuji for sponsoring me and having the most amazing clothing for jujitsu and uh fighter alias and backbone cafe out here in sacramento all organic if you're ever out here come try it it is the best um and shout out to uriah faber and the uh, team alpha male team and everybody at my gym thank you for everything for having me on the show and uh it's always great being here uh thank you so much